What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys have been out of the building shit. Using your God-given hands, taking on projects, building, fixing, creating. I'm Aspie. You're watching The Worth Shop, where I teach you guys to use your hands and do blue-collar projects, build up your self-esteem and your self-worth. If you follow the channel, you know the last month or so, I've been doing videos about this here, WVODesigns.com centrifuge. Because I want to turn waste motor oil into diesel to power my trucks. If you haven't checked out the videos that I've already uploaded, I did an unboxing of the centrifuge. I did a setup and wiring of the centrifuge. I did a five ways to save money setting up your black diesel system. And I also did a video about all the hidden costs setting up a centrifuge. After you're done watching this video, go back and check them out. You're guaranteed to learn something. And it'll be much appreciated by this small YouTuber trying to grow. This week was supposed to be our first batch of black diesel. We we're going to fill up our top tank here. Get the valves adjusted. And so that it was getting the right flow rate into our centrifuge. And we we're going to produce our very own diesel. Unfortunately, that's not the video I'm going to be making. I've got something to teach you guys, a major mistake that I made. <sighs> Money down the drain, time wasted. So I've got to pass this information along to you guys, even though I'm a bit embarrassed. And so you guys do not make the same mistake that I do. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot, guys. So I bought a galvanized tea and galvanized piping galvanized elbow and some more galvanized piping and yet another galvanized tea and galvanized piping so you're probably thinking what's that got to do with anything aspie well i'll tell you i was doing a little bit of reading last night trying to learn and i come across the comment that said galvanized pipe reacts with diesel and it absorbs the zinc and gets the zinc into your fuel system and then messes up injection pumps etc so i started typing into google and searching does galvanized react with diesel sure enough guys it reacts with diesel and it reacts with oil so we're screwed but i'm going to count my blessings and say thank you father for pointing this out to me putting me in the path of this information prior to me filling up my system prior to me putting oil into the system prior to me running my first batch and maybe even putting it into my trucks so luckily i'm going to be tearing apart pipes that are completely clean there's no oil in them there's nothing going to be dripping out i'm going to tear it apart and i'm going to rebuild it all with black iron pipes so off to Home Depot I go. So to anybody that was looking forward to the video of me running my first batch of black diesel, here's a little footage of yesterday at work, loading up a barrel. All right, YouTube. So just got my first drum of oil loaded up from work. And working on a farm, we go through a lot of oil. So I've got all these left full of waste oil. For any of you haters out there that think this project wasn't worth the money, do the math. All them 50 gallon drums times that by the price per gallon of diesel. You'll see my investment in this centrifuge is going to pay for itself. And then I unloaded it. It's sure nice to have a tractor unload that thing from the truck to get it ready. So trust and believe that video is coming. And if you want to see it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Man, I want to make my first badge. Ooh, I am getting excited. Instead, I'm spending my weekend running to Home Depot for some black iron pipes and black iron fittings to replace that galvanized stuff. So I've now switched it out to black iron pipes instead of the galvanized. I also switched out up here and I made my own little vent so that we don't get airlock in the tank. And I switched out over here to black iron as well. Got all my fittings reconnected to those pipes coming in through my walls. Got them all pipe doped up. But unfortunately, 
that pipe dope with this stuff taking 24 hours to cure I can't run my first batch for this Sunday's video but I hope I'm able to teach you guys a lesson not to use galvanized pipes if you learned something hit that like button if you want to see more about my diesel processing system hit that subscribe button I'll definitely be doing a batch real soon I promise guys sorry for the delay but till next time believe in your god-given hands take on some projects build fix create even though I'm on YouTube I'm not an expert I make some mistakes don't beat yourselves up when you make a mistake. At least you're trying. At least you're making progress in your life. Till next time, keep building shit.